아크리프가 1세대 레티노이드의 효과를 대체할 수 있을지 그게 좀 궁금합니다. 아크리프로 클리그만 포뮬라를 사용할 수 있을까요? 아크리프의 자극을 줄일 수 있는 교수님만의 노하우를 듣고 싶습니다. Thank you. Um, that's a good question. 4세대 레티노이드 아크리프가 출시됐잖아요. 거기에 대한 질문을 좀 드리려고 합니다. 한국에서는 그 아크리프가 여드름 치료제로 나왔는데 여드름 치료 효과보다는 항노화 효과에 대해서 더 관심이 많거든요. 아크리프가 1세대 레티노이드의 효과를 대체할 수 있을지 그게 좀 궁금합니다. Thank you. Um, that's a good question. There's no question it will replace the efficacy of the first generation topical retinoids because the only one in that group is tretinoin. Tretinoin is photo unstable. And the reason it was demonstrated to have efficacy was because the company that developed it pursued that indication. Now, all the subsequent topical retinoid generations haven't pursued that indication because they all expect it will do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because topical retinoids increase procollagen and collagen formation as well as hyaluronic acid deposition and elastic tissue formation. Which is not to say that the subsequent topical retinoids don't have that same efficacy. They just didn't pursue that specific indication. The issue that is beneficial for both tazeratine, adapalene, and triferritine is that they are photostable. So if you really wanted to enhance and encourage even more benefit, Potentially, you could use it morning and night. Mm -hmm. I'm not advocating that. But unlike tretinoin, which you know is recommended to be used at night, that recommendation developed not because there was some magic about the night. It was because that was the period of time where it needed to be applied to be photostable because the light wasn't on to inactivate it. So, that's where I think there might be advances in potential efficacy is you can use it morning or night. Mm. Okay, so For some people who are shift workers, they don't go to sleep at night, they're working at night. Well, when they go home and they want to put it on during the day, they can if they want to. Acrypro, Kligman formula can be used? So the Kligman formula contains yes. tretinoin, yes. tretinoin yes. and there's actually better reason to use a cleaf oh. than tretinoin. <laughs> okay, it's much more, f mm. it's a much more stable molecule. Mm. So I think that you certainly can. Acrypto의 자극을 줄일 수 있는 교수님만의 노하우를 듣고 싶습니다. So there are a couple of ways I try to reduce or minimize irritation, and that's initiating therapy as slowly as possible. Mm -hmm. And the way I do that is to ask patients to apply it dinner to bedtime and then wash it off. Why? <laughs> because you want them to be awake if their skin is irritated or dry, right? If they put it on before they go to bed and at 3 a.m. their skin is starting to get irritated, <laughs> 7, 8 a.m. they wake More. up, it's too late, right? <laughs> so why not take control when you're awake? So dinner to bedtime twice a week for the first two weeks. And if once they rinse it off, then I encourage them to, and using a gentle cleanser, nothing harsh, certainly not an acne cleanser necessarily, you know, more of a balanced synthetic detergent cleanser. What we're trying to do is to reduce the risk of irritation by using it less frequently and reduce the risk of dryness by gentle cleansers and moisturizers. Mm -hmm. After two weeks, then they start escalating. Now you go from twice a week to four times a week. And then after two weeks, seven times a week. And then they can start using overnight. At any point in time, if they find that they're getting too dry or too irritated, they can reduce the frequency of application and then go from overnight back to every other night or down to dinner to bedtime again. So you want to also make sure your patients understand that during the cold, dry seasons, they can use the retinoids less frequently and use moisturizers that are a little bit more emollient. During the hot summer seasons, 
they might be more damp, they might be a little bit more oily, and their skin might be more resilient. But everyone's <laughs> different because maybe they get sunburned, right? So you want to be just aware that you allow the patients to adjust both the duration of application and the frequency of application. Okay. Thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my pleasure. Thank, thank you so okay. much. 여드름과 주사 피부염의 대가의 유용한 팁들을 들을 수 있어서 굉장히 좋았어요. 같은 피부과 의사 선생님들한테도 굉장히 좋은 정보가 될것 같아요. 아, 저 완전 감동받았어요. 교수님께서 말씀하시는 게 저희가 항상 얘기했던 거잖아요. 수면 중요하다, 마이프니스 중요하다 이런 말씀해 주셔가지고 너무 좋았던 것 같습니다.